Hey guys, welcome to a tutorial and today guys I'm going to show you how to make an easy unraidable vault. Now this is what you can class as unraidable is hard to raid. There's nothing really in factions that's unraidable depending on what server you're playing on. I'm playing on pvp.vrcon.net. The IP will be down in the description. Okay guys, for this um, um, unraidable vault, here is what you're going to need. Uh, two lava buckets, a double chest, unless you want to make it bigger. And you need some sort of blocks that's unburnable, so forget about your wall. Don't make it look fancy. It's got to be a vault, okay? We're not looking to make this fancy. So what you're going to need is this This is one I've made earlier. This is like Blue Pia. So if you watch Blue Pia, this is one I've made earlier. Uh, this is pretty much what I'm using right now. It's a quick, easy way to set up. Pretty much, you run out as far as you can. So you run out to the world limit. So this happens when you walk across it, get sent backwards. Now I'm not showing my, showing my, you my quads because this is my this is my let's play area where I've actually set up a little bit of a base. So as you can see, how am I going to get to it? That's the question. How am I going to get to these chests? If you put your shoot yourself into someone's shoes who's trying to raid this, the only way you're going to raid this is by um, sand cannon it. And I'm in the nether, so you can't use a ward, so you're going to have to use a complex cannon to even get into it. And then even if you do break the chest, you're going to burn the items. So only if, the only person who's going to break that is a bit of an idiot. So you pretty much just set up a line so the lava can't overflow. Now I'm just going to do one. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to somehow, this is really frustrating. Yeah, you can see how this is going to be frustrating. So guys, you're going to need to take the items that I've shown you. Yeah, so you, I'm just taking the chest because that's all I, you need at the moment is basically what you're going to have, you're going to find trouble is when you lean too far, you get sent back. Now to do this, you're going to have to shift and find the right place in the block. You're not going to get sent back and you're going to have to try and find the corner of the bottom of the bedrock and build up like this. After you complete this, you literally just place a chest on top and then you're going to need to break the bottom. Now this makes, the two gap makes it harder to creep reg. If you don't know what creep reg is, this is pretty much where they explode your chest um, with creep regs because it's an acclaimed area. So you're going to need to claim this as well. Uh, so now you get the lava bucket and you place it over the top of the chest if it lets you. Like this, as so. You're gonna need two to cover the whole. Ch that is a bit loud. Why is it not let me place it? There you go. As you can see, overflow on one side, two sides actually. So as you can see now, this is actually harder to raid. If you wanted to make this even better, you would have to um, basically build an obsidian base, just facing, pretty much covering the back of here. So all of here we blocked with obsidian and you can make this into an actual proper base because you can't if you think about it you can't TNT can from this way so as long as you have a fat like half a base pretty much with lava water double layer all that stuff it's gonna be really hard to get into your base that's why I think this is a really good start on raidable vault in quotations because it is actually impossible in minecraft to make in raidable vault unless you're an admin or have them sort of powers if you enjoyed that little uh tutorial make sure to check out my let's play guys it's in this area and i've also got a lot more stuff planned for my let's play uh that'll be all guys make sure to leave a like if this helped and i'll see you guys and next time